What's up guys, it's ZTechK here. In this video, I would like to show you the Pac-Man ROM Android 4R3 version, which is um, just released, uh, I think two days ago. But it is a build one and it is a nightly, you can say. Um, there are some bugs in this ROM, hopefully they will fix it in uh, other builds. So let me just show you here in the settings. It is not as responsive or as snappier as the other 4R3 ROMs out there. As you can see, this is Pac-Man um, Pac ROM. Uh, Pac-Man is basically a combination of Paranoid Android, uh, Sanogen Mod, and AOKP. As you can see, I'm running the Android 4R3, the latest version of the Android. Um, and one thing is again here is that this ROM is compatible with the Dormex kernel uh, version 9.40, the latest version. Uh, don't install Dormex kernel below uh, version 30, that it may cause some, you know, uh, boot up stuck, boot stuck. So, overall, the ROM, you know, still in its, uh, you know, build conditions, and it is not so great. As you can see, Paranoid Android. Challenge and mod, and of course the AOKP. So this ROM is a combination of three different ROMs: AOKP, Challenge and mod, and Paranoid Android. So as you can see, I'm running, you know, a expanded mode. I think it's tablet mode. Uh, my all apps are running in tablet mode it is as default uh, which I don't like uh, but here we have the uh, some of the applications we get pre-installed we have the P DSP manager um, uh, let me just show you here uh, pack console uh, pack console is basically like a slim center in the slim bin ROM uh, with this you can update your ROM uh, with the over the air uh, feature which is the OTA uh, just like uh, all other uh, ROMs which have software web features so it is a pretty good app if you have build one like me if, if there is build two out there then you can update it directly through this app which is uh, pretty nice and the overall performance is just you know needs a lot of improvement uh, this is also here we do get the Pi controls uh, this ROM is basically um, uh, uh, this is uh, this lags during uh, going to the recent apps menu as you can see it lags during going to the recent apps menu as you can see here it takes some time to go into the recent apps menu which is you know kind of annoying also we do get here uh, the here the some some quick toggles uh, which is uh, quite convenient we have camera calendar music calculator and clock so let me just give you a glimpse in the settings so if we swipe to the right I mean left uh, we do get some Pac-Man ROM options which is here um, the uh, pack black uh, pack black here and uh, this is uh, themes option we have here the hybrid op properties uh, we have the journal UI let me just show you here this is journal UI custom boot animation uh, custom background same option as before nothing fancier here um, but it do have hybrid setting ribbons and uh, all those options, a combination of, you know, three ROM. That's why it is called as Pac-Man. Uh, as you can see, we have navigation bar, navigation ring, app bar, ribbons, animation controls, uh, Pi controls, Halo, we have notification drawer, weather, uh, miscellaneous here is the thing that is new. You can have do not disturb feature, breathing SMS, breathing miscall. Uh, I don't really use 
uh, we have here hardware acceleration you can uh, uh, control which app can use a uh, hardware acceleration and which cannot and also we have here LED you can you know uh, flash LED while screen is on it is you know it is a future I don't really care about that um, so overall the ROM has a lot of bugs so I don't recommend you to, uh, recommend you to try it out but uh, try it out as a ready driver because it usually lags and if you are using browser uh, so extensively and uh, then it may crash down and it says like browser uh, process stop and that's pretty annoying and uh, that error came in uh, most of the apps because Robin is the ROM is just is uh, this ROM is the uh, first build so hopefully they will fix in it other build the Wi-Fi is uh, working great there's no error in Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is working great um, camera is working great uh, sometimes a uh, gallery crashes uh, but not too often I've been using this ROM for about three to four days and let me just show you here camera as you can see camera is working we can capture the picture here we can swipe to the left we get all a picture in the bit strip uh, bit strip style this is a video that I captured with this ROM as you can see video is working great everything is working great you can try this out but it has some you know lags when going into recent apps many as you can see it takes about two seconds to go in the recent apps so which is pretty annoying so thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video then please give this video a thumbs up it really do helps me out and I'll see you in my next video and don't forget to subscribe peace out